There we go. Welcome back to Love the Ones You're With. I don't even remember what episode this is, but I'm really excited about this one. I um, I'm so psyched. We have such a good guest today. Um, I'm just waiting for her to join and we'll go ahead and get started. How amazing is it that it is six o'clock? I mean, it's six o'clock Eastern time here, but how amazing is it that it's 6 p.m. and it's light out? Like, I am so daylight savings time. I don't care about all the rest of you that are complaining about losing an hour of sleep, like this sunshine is magical. So I'm so excited to welcome Leslie to, to love the ones you're with. How exciting is this? Like, I mean, I have a list of all the amazing things you do. That's very kind. <laughs> <laughs> I am a, I'm a smidge nervous. Um, so just be prepared. I do have wine with me. So Okay, wine is totally okay. This okay. is an evening episode. Drink all the wine. Perfect. <laughs> um, so before you go ahead and jump right in, I just want to introduce you to the people who are watching. Everyone, this is the amazing Leslie Heindel. She is from Nolens. Did I say that right? No. No. How no. That? New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah. Not New Orleans? No. Okay. Never. Right, got it. Never. <laughs> not Nolens. That's how... See, isn't that funny? Because here in Toronto, if you say Toronto, we know you're a tourist. Like, no See, one says that. That's, that's the way I would say it, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So, guys, Leslie's so fun and so amazing. Um, the very first video I watched of her, just so you know, she was on roller skates. Um, I think this is around the same time as the, one, the time that you were hula hooping. I picked up a slight hobby of learning how to hula hoop. Um, it didn't last super long as I can do it for about one minute and then that's it. But um, I am an advanced roller skater. So uh, I mean, like advanced, advanced, right? Like, yes. 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 You can go backwards. I can go backwards. I can go forwards. I can go in a circle. I can do it with a cocktail in my hand. Very advanced. Like, say no more. You are far more advanced than I am. So, all right. <laughs> So I have asked Leslie on this show because she is one of the best that I know at loving the clients that she has. And as you guys know, this show is all about not just looking for new clients because there's a bazillion classes on that. We want to talk about how we show the ones we already have the love. So Leslie, let's dive in. What do you do that you love the most about what you do for your clients? I was going to save this one for the end, but um, it, my absolute Favorite oh, one. build up. Start with the other ones if you want. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll dive into this one because it's not going to be for everybody and it's not going to be for every market. Um, not everybody can do this. So one of my favorite things to do is since we have like super old homes here, like I have people that buy homes that are over 100 years old. Um, right. I like to, after they purchase them, as a little surprise to them, I go down to what is called our lands division and I pull a detailed history of the property and I try to get nice. like a super old survey, like from the 1800s. So you can kind of see like what the neighborhood was shaped like then and how it's changed. And while I'm doing that detailed history, um, you can find out that street names have changed. You can see um, some of the like, what would be considered famous names here that have owned your house previously, some of their older family members. Um, my favorite one most recently is that I figured out that this property was actually a rectory um, that belonged to a church nearby, and it was passed down from father to father, and then it got sold to the family that then sold it to my clients. That's so awesome. And, like, who doesn't want to know the history of their house if it's a, like, if it's an older house? Like, obviously, my my condo is 15 years old, not sexy history there, but like, <laughs> that's so cool. And, and then you present that to them. Yeah. So I go and like, Oh, Hey guys, I'm just going to pop by your house, you know, and I bring it over and they get really, really pumped. Especially when you get copies of the documents with like the super old, like cursive handwriting, that's very elegant. Like it just kind of brings people back to a different place and they just really get a little more invested into their house than they were before. That's awesome. And like people frame it and stuff, I bet. Like, yes. That's so they cool. have a few that um, I came across like multiple surveys that showed how pieces of land had changed around them, but theirs had stayed the same. They framed it. I'd found one that was originally a piece of a plantation, which that happens often, but not on all the ones that I find. 
So they were really, so I got a map of the plantation and then like their old survey from the 1800s to show where they had been divided off and they just flipped over it. I bet. That's so fun. Okay, cool. Love it. So the history of, I mean, even for people that maybe aren't selling super old homes, like how cool would it be to research just the history of the street name and tell people like, this is why your street was named this, or this is who it was named after, you know, like that's super cool. When, especially like when they live on a street currently that used to be called something else. Now, you know, sometimes they'll only reference the street as the old name and they're like, Oh, only on, you know, whatever street now. And, you know, you keep your little ongoing joke. So it's great when like you're sending them mail or whatever, you know, and I'll put their real address on the inside. I'm like, but we know what street it really is, you know? So speaking of mail, let's talk about mail. Like mail is your jam. Mail is my jam. It's like, I'm an 80 year old woman. I love some stationery. Um, they have this place in town called Lionheart Prints that she's, you know, she's this local female business owner and she's fabulous and her customer service is impeccable. So I try to buy everything that I can from her. Um, I'd like to get weird, funky cards to send to people um, or bright colors or whatever. And I write many, many handwritten letters that my people who get them love getting them. Right. I mean, who doesn't love getting mail? I love getting mail. I don't get very much mail. And then one of the things that are some of the things that I include that I, I do. So I get, I'm a stickers person. Stickers. So like this one in particular, I don't know how much people can really see, but it's an old um, double shotgun house. It's actually my photographer and videographer for my website that that's her house. Um, cool. And then we have some with like our area code on it. And then some that just have like my website on it. So whenever I get a new one, I send out new mail so people can get new stickers. Oh, that's super fun. And you get those printed. So you get those photos taken and then you get those printed. Do you use a particular site for printing your stickers? Uh, I mostly use you printing. Uh, I find them to be fast and cheap. So, and when I'm excited about stickers, I want them immediately, like yesterday. <laughs> So I also bring them um, up to my local coffee shop and always leave a stack up there for them and they're gone within a day. Oh, super cool. Yeah. I mean, kids love stickers, right? So like adults, on there. adults really love stickers too. I have found I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. My laptop is covered in them. Yeah. So I'm a fan as well. I'm a fan as well. Tell me about beer pot buys. Uh, so that started this past October. Um, I was, you know, a lot of, and by the way, before I say this and anybody thinks that I'm like hating on them, I am not. A lot of real estate agents do the pot buys with pumpkins during Halloween time. Yeah. I'm not opposed to a nice pumpkin because I like buy and destroy three of them before I like what I've carved. Semicolon, however, most of my clients are service industry or don't have kids or a bunch of like single people yeah. and stuff. That's just kind of my, my market that I was like, well, most of them I don't think will carve the pumpkin. So I'm just going to get one of those, you know, the little pumpkin buckets that you like, you know, supposed to trick or treat with. Yeah. And I threw candy in it because, I mean, who doesn't like candy? But then I put pumpkin and fall fest beers in them to go drop them off to people. Right. Like, and it went over really well. <laughs> I bet. I bet. And like, who doesn't come up to you afterwards now and are like, you better stop by my porch next. Like, it's like adult trick or treating, right? Yeah. Cause I don't like knock on anybody's door. I don't harass them, but I do post to like social media. Hey, I'm coming by, get ready. And you know, look, it's beer. So most of the people were on the lookout for it because they didn't want anybody to take their beer off their porch. So well, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I love it. Like pumpkin ale or pumpkin, like local IBA or whatever. Yeah. Like. Just, you know, anything pumpkin or fall flavored. Cause I mean, we get like fall weather for maybe like two weeks. So it's like, Oh, enjoy this. You know? <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, we get fall weather for like two weeks here too. And then it's winter forever and ever. <laughs> I don't know what winter is, so I'm not hip to that. <laughs> so CMA is in the mail. Yes. Um, it's my thing. I just love doing it. So every three months, you know, if whenever you purchase your home for me, three months to the day, you're going to get in the mail, a list of every single house that is sold in your neighborhood. Um, so that you can just kind of keep up with what is happening around you. And wow. 
I know some agents like to email them out or email them as they happen, but sometimes in some areas it can be sporadic and, you know, I really like that consistency. Um, I just like, you know, I'm, I'm a schedule kind of person. So I have reminders that go off every three months for every single person that I pull this information up and I mail it over to them. And I've never had a single person that's told me, please don't send that anymore. You know, <laughs> my favorite is um, if they happen to be watching Livy and Spear, what they do when they get theirs in is they don't look at the sales price and they walk around their neighborhood and walk their dog and try to guess the sales price. So oh, that's fun. people, you know, turn it into a game, but also like if you've purchased in that neighborhood, don't you want to know what things are selling for around you? I mean, we're all nosy neighbors to an extent. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to facilitate you being extra nosy. I love that. I love that. And you know, like on top of CMA is the one thing I say to agents all the time is for the love every year when my tax assessment comes out, like send me a letter telling me how to read that bloody tax assessment because I forget every year and I look at it and I'm like, Oh my God, and freak out. And like, that would be so simple to just diarize that schedule it, send them out. Like, those things and it because it's consistent you know it's coming and i just oh, that's amazing i love that I love every that. every year i get a phone call about somebody's tax assessment too they're like is this wrong because our assessor usually puts it real low and i'm like you just let them keep it that way baby don't worry about it that's right. <laughs> absolutely all right so last thing let's talk about is weird holidays and king cake parties Yes. So, I mean, not for the people not from here, um, you know, New Orleans celebrates Mardi Gras and there's king cake season that happens on 12th night to Mardi Gras day and that's it. So yeah. everybody is like super weird about their king cakes and, you know, and whatever place is their favorite. But then also you kind of get sick of it after a while too. So before people get sick of it though, right before Mardi Gras starts, I hosted a king cake party that had, you know, beer and champagne and wine and everybody got a little mini king cake to take home. But then, you know, at the party, I had a couple of like big, delicious, huge king cakes that were for everybody. I see Kendall's comment. I want king cake. She I came after Mardi Gras. So she wasn't <laughs> getting king cake. Got to show up on the right day, right? Yeah. It was too late. Once it's over, it's over. Nobody wants it okay. after that. It's just, you've had too much of it. So, I, you know, I like... I like different type, ty uh, different types of events. I don't want like the same old, same old. Uh, coming up soon, I'm planning a crawfish boil for people. Um, you know, that's I know that's not everywhere. <laughs> I try to do very localized things. You know, that really make us appreciate the city a little bit more. Um, yeah. Other, oh, what was the other one? Other thing that came? Oh, the weird holidays. So. I fancy myself an environmentalist. Like, so for Earth Day, I have cards going out to people. With, I mean, like, you say that, but like, you don't even use plastic, right? Like, I, I try weird. very hard not to use plastic whatsoever. I get mad at people for using straws. I actually now carry paper straws with me. So if people really feel like they need one, they can have one of those. Um, so no, Earth Day. Earth Day is coming up. I'm making cards for those. And I have found, oh my God, I'm so excited about it. I couldn't find them locally. I try to do everything local if I can. But yeah. this woman on Etsy makes seed packets that it's like in the shape of things. And you just plant the whole thing. Like the packet's biodegradable. Oh. The seeds go with it and everything else. So all of my clients are going to be getting those of wildflowers so that we can try to keep the bees alive, you know. I'm oh, trying to force fun. other people to think about the earth too. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I mean, Hey, it's good cause and it's local and it's, you know, like I think that all of that, it, that's, I mean, to be honest, that's how you guys got on my radar a couple of years ago is that I was stalking you for my good, bad, ugly, because you do so many local things that I love. And, um, you were my very first local love, um, person on good, bad, ugly that I was like, look at this. They do amazing things. So I have to go back and rewatch that. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I really so let's recap. I mean, stickers, like crazy fun, um, pumpkin beer instead of pumpkins at Halloween CMAs in the mail every three months for your, for your past buyers, which I think is brilliant. And I mean, best of all, and most wonderful, just, researching the history of the their historic home or their street and letting them know and like giving them the old documents like all of that is just like I love it it's so you it's quirky and it's local and it's fun and it's personal and that's who you are and that's how I would associate with you if you were my agent and so I love that you bring out your personality but 
Not only that, it's not just it's not just Norlings that Norlings. Nor, <laughs> nor, I, I say Nola because I can't. Um, yeah, just go with Nola right. then. <laughs> it's, uh, so, like you don't have to be in Nola to do those types of things. You just find what's local to your hood and do what is great in your hood, right? Yeah, I think that really just incorporating anything localized is the way to go. Um, you know, because like we're coming up on festival season now. So I'm going to be giving away a Jazz Fest poster and, yeah. you know, just anything that kind of just gets you involved a little more in the community and gives props to another business or, you know, I just, I, I really appreciate that. You know, we got to take care of the ones right around us. Agreed. Agreed. Girl, I think you're fantastic. Thank you for agreeing to do this. See, you didn't even need the wine. You were fine. I know. I was very nervous. Thank you for having me, though. I had a really good time. <laughs> <laughs> you're amazing. So other than Facebook, tell people how they can follow you on the things. Instagram? Instagram, at Be New Orleans. If you happen to come across my personal one, I probably won't accept you. And it's all pictures of my dogs anyway. You're not interested. Okay, uh, so what <laughs> Instagram handle again? Be New Orleans. Be New Orleans. Okay. And then the website, beneworleans.com, goes through all of the neighborhoods and gives you very real takes on them. It's not a history lesson. It's whatever I think the neighborhood is like. Um, you can find me on Twitter, at Leslie Heindel. I'm not super active on there. I just retweet a lot of sports stuff, so that might not interest you. So I would, I would just go for the Be New Orleans Instagram. Yeah, fair enough. Instagram is the place. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. I know you had a busy day with buyers and um, I will talk to you soon, but thank you so much. And for everybody watching, I hope you got a few great tips there from the amazing Leslie Kindown. Thank you, Valerie. Have a good one. <laughs> Have a good one.